Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to episode 9 of my Minecraft Let's Play. So in this episode, I wanted to improve the house, but don't leave so quickly, okay? I want to make the house look a lot better, because right now, pretty plain Jane on the inside. Um, which, you know, it, that's not always a bad thing, but I try to go sort of extravagant with my houses, so I did do a little bit of preparations here, right? So we've got some clay smelting up, which means we get some bricks, which means we can make some pots. Um, so we did collect a lot of flowers in the flower forest, as you remember, if you watched episode, I think, 7 it was. Uh, sadly, no bees, but we're getting close. I also did look at your comments. I'm, I'm reading every comment, I promise. That's why I'm giving a heart on every single comment. If, that's right. If you leave a comment, you get a heart, but that's besides the point. I've, well, as you can see here, I've started planting these big old trees, and man, they really are huge. Dude, like, look at that. Who needs that much wood? I know I don't. Um, and I did collect a little bit of wood off camera as well, so we're actually doing pretty healthily if we if we count how much wood we've gotten now. I think it's like, uh, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five stacks of spruce. So, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think we're going to need more wood, at least for a bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a bunch of pots. Now, you're wondering, Neo, why are you making so many pots? Well, basically, I'm going to... I mean, we have enough storage over here, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the house, but I know for sure that these furnaces are not going to be here like this. This was like a day one sort of thing, and I'm not sure why I never changed it. Um, it looks like there's holes under those things, too. So we need the red the red block. I honestly don't know what it's called. Polished or granite? There we go. I'll never have it memorized, I promise. <laughs> I'll do my best to not memorize it. Okay, so we have two crafting tables. We have six furnaces. First of all, that's not enough furnaces. Like, I mean, that, that's really not. I'm going to put a temporary crafting table down right here. Um, I don't know how, exactly how many I want to make, but I do want to make a good bit because I want to have a portion of the wall just be dedicated to furnaces as well as blast furnaces. So let's look in here. Let's see. See, it doesn't show me the recipe for a blast furnace. Uh, so I'm going to look it up real quick. Okay, so that recipe's not hard at all. Question mark? I say question mark because I'm not sure. There's also a stack in there. Look how much iron. I smelted, a, or I let all the iron smelt that we had. So we have a good bit of iron now, too. So, it, from my findings, it looks, I, I'm pretty sure you have to smelt, I'm pretty sure you have to smelt smooth stone. Now, that, that seems weird, but I'm like 99% sure that's what we're going to need. Also going to need a little bit of iron. I'm sorry if I'm a little sniffly today. I don't know. My allergies, I think, are getting me. I don't usually get allergies. And then smokers are super duper easy. So, again, I'm just making a lot of furnaces because I really want to be over-prepared. I have some pretty big projects in mind that I'm not going to disclose just yet. But I want you guys to get excited for them because they're going to be really cool. Um, so, the, for this one, we just need logs. So, it should be pretty easy. I'm not going to make a whole ton of them. I think 8 should be or 16 should be plenty uh, if I need more then I probably got a problem I am gonna need to get more cobblestone because as you can see I really don't have all that much cobblestone which is surprising you know you'd think that I'd have more than I do by now but I really don't um, so yeah I am right you do have to smelt this which is super weird I'll, I'll add that it's super weird uh, but basically what you do is you throw three of these on the bottom. You guys are probably like, dude, I already know how to craft one. This is, I don't need a crafting recipe. Okay, well, let me wait for all this stuff to smelt. And then once it smelts, I'll come back and we'll design the house. Because I know you guys are just going to leave if I sit here and show you how to craft things. You already know how to craft. This is what happens when you get lazy. You start just putting a bunch of furnaces down. Because I'm, I'm tired of waiting. I really don't need, I think, as many as I'm making here. But it, it's okay. I guess it's good to have these blocks. I mean, they look cool. So maybe we can find a building use for them at some point. I really don't know. But as you can see now, we've got all the furnaces firing on, on all cylinders. So it should be done soon. Okay, I think I'm going to call it good. Let me just confirm how many. Okay, yeah. That's definitely more than okay. I don't, I, I don't really want more than 11 blast furnaces. So let's just go ahead and destroy all this stuff. It's okay, we, we'll have a little bit of extra smooth stone. And then a little bit of that extra fancy smooth stone. I really don't know what to call it. It, it just looks like fancier smooth stone to me. Uh, but I'm going to remove this bottom layer right here. And I think this is where I'm going to put all my smokers. Uh, or not my smokers, my blast furnaces. Like this. Yep. Oh man, see we have one extra. Which is kind of a problem, but at the same time, it, it'll be okay. We'll just put it right there. And then the rest of this wall, I think I'll just fill in with the smokers. Um, which doesn't really leave a whole lot of space for our uh, furnaces, which is interesting. I, d I didn't even think about that. 
Um, and we still have a bunch of these, so we'll, we'll put a row up here as well. So we'll need to put a little bit more lighting up here, but it's really okay. I, I doubt we'll ever use this many smokers and, and blast furnaces, but I think for future proofing, at least this house, which is only one of many. I mean, we're going to have a ton of houses. But like general smelting, I really don't think I'm going to be doing a whole lot of it. But I probably should. It, it would be smart to still have some normal furnaces. Uh, just got to figure out where. I could put them on the wall like right here. Um, but then it sort of takes away the, from the whole framing thing. I think what I'm going to do is just put a normal stack of furnaces right here and then call it quits. Because if I need more than this, I think I have a problem. So let's just put all these down and we'll call it a day with the furnaces. Yeah, I, th I think we'll be okay. I really genuinely think that, you know, when it's all said and done, I don't, I don't think we're going to be needing for more furnaces. Um, but yeah. So we have a bunch of this stuff going. We had we had a ton more clay smelting, but I sort of broke it in the middle. Uh, we'll throw it in that chest because I really don't know what chest it would go in. Uh, remember, we got a bunch of flowers, so we're going to take all those out. It just depends. Oh, we can't do double stacks. Uh, any other cool ones? Yeah. We could do some oak saplings. Nah, I don't want to put that in there. Uh, yeah, sure. So, I want to design this wall right here just because there's nothing there, and I'm probably not going to put something there. I mean, I, <clears throat> I have more chest storage than I really need, so I'm not going to take up the rest of that wall with more chests because, first of all, I can make it more efficient. I can put them right next to each other, and I really don't, I really don't need that. So, what I'm going to go do is get some spruce leaves. Oh, man. <laughs> These big trees are crazy. They give you a lot. I mean, they really do. They're definitely worth it. It's not like they're bad at all, so thank you guys for telling me about that. It's much more efficient than what I was doing, but uh, it, it's almost too efficient. <laughs> it's like I'm getting too many now. I'm getting too much wood. I mean, look at that. It's like, I don't even know how tall that is. Like, like in Minecraft blocks, it's probably like 30 blocks tall or something. Maybe not 30, but like 25 or something. It's just a lot. So if you ever need that many, you know, feel free to make one of those. But if you don't need that many... Don't start making double trees because you'll get in over your head real quick. Um, I also did one time while I, uh, in between episodes, I did mine this a little bit. And by the way, this is the first time I've recorded this series in like over a week. It's been a long time. Um, I had so many episodes pre-recorded. I was so excited at the start to uh, record. I'm still excited now, uh, but I got uh, like just super excited and I recorded so much so quickly. So I'm back at it again, which is good. Uh, but I'm just trying to explain that, like, if things seem like there's less congruency, that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I want to make some sort of display over here. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. I probably should know what it means. Um, but sometimes the best things come when you don't expect them. Um, so we're going to make somewhat of a little display. See, let's see. Yeah, like right there. Right there. Does that work? Indeed it does. And then we could put one slab down on these. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we have a few trapdoors, but what I want to do is put pots up here with flowers in them. Um, so we'll just do a bunch like this. Pretty simple. And then I don't want to have any two flowers be next to each other, which I think will be pretty easy because of the amount of flowers we have. Yeah. And then we could put, we have one oxide daisy. We don't have any blue orchids. If you guys know that's my flower, we don't have any of those. Okay, so we have that, and you're like, Neo, you just wasted a whole wall to put some flowers on it. And you're not wrong, exactly, uh, but there's more to it. I want to add, like, some leaves back here. Um, if I had glowstone, I'd put it back here, but I don't think we've even been to the nether yet. Maybe we have, and I just forgot. I really don't know, but I don't think we have. Um, but right here, I'm going to put just some spruce, like this. And uh, I'm going to need some more. Okay, I already have the blocks. We're going to put those in here. And then what we're going to do is eventually I'll put glowstone back there. But for now, we're just going to do normal spruce leaves. And just, I don't know. I mean, we're just doing a little display. It, it doesn't have to be something crazy, architecturally like insane. It'll look just fine like this. And then we'll put the same thing back here. And voila. Pretty cool. Now, obviously, I'm not going to leave this torch. Um, and one thing I'm going to do is take some trap door... We don't have any trap doors here. Yes, we, we have to have trap doors. Okay, so I could put some fence down here like that. I could maybe fill it in. Yeah, that looks better. So we're going to fill it in like that. Um, and in the middle of the room, there's literally nothing here. Uh, we, we don't have any crafting tables anymore. So what I'm going to do is make a few of those. 
and uh, we can actually make a pretty cool uh, it can be under these because this is like literally the center of the build um, so something like that you know just to you know should show that yeah yeah we, we got crafting guys don't underestimate us here um, and now we can craft with our new crafting table display some trap doors which we don't need 20 but it's okay we got an excess of wood and we can cover all of these with spruce and you know what looks pretty dang good um, and that's nice just because we have the lanterns in the middle anyways so it doesn't really block anything so if we go to the outside here with these leaves I think I'm not sure there's a, if there's a whole lot of space for them um, we could put a few in this area right here let me try it out and see how it looks if I was in creative I could have tried it out like two seconds be like yeah that looks good and yeah it, it does look good that looks fine I'd like it if there were more leaves around the base but there's not really a spot for them so it's not a big deal um, but like right here we could put some leaves in here just a little stack like that uh, and then beyond that I don't think I'm comfortable adding a whole ton more um, just because there's not a lot of space but yeah that looks a whole lot better than it did before do we have any wool I know it's a weird question, but do we have any? Um, I don't think we do. I think we would have, I think I would know that. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm gonna clean up my inventory and we're gonna get started on a little build project. So I just wanted to sort of pretty up my base. I wasn't gonna do anything too extreme. Uh, just a little home makeover, but the next the next thing we're gonna do is a project, a kind of a project. Uh, we're gonna be making an area for sugarcane because we don't really have any area whatsoever right now for sugarcane. And uh, we have a good bit of it to start off with, but I mean, that's not near enough, like, to finish or anything. Uh, but I do, I, I, I'm just going to feel a lot better once we start doing that. Um, but yeah, let's go get some sand. We know, <laughs> we've already gotten so much sand before. I think we're going to need another diamond shovel pretty soon. So you know what we should do? We got 10 diamonds. So I think, I think we're in a position where it's okay if we craft another diamond shovel. I don't think that that's a bad thing. So let's get one of these bad boys. I'm going to go find some sand, and I'll be back. I said I'd be back once I found sand, but I realized I'm going to run in a new direction today to find sand, so I figured I'd, I'd just record it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm excited to get sugarcane going, which you guys kind of know what that's hinting at. I want to enchant pretty soon. Um, not too soon, but somewhat soon. So for that, obviously, I'm going to need some cows. I have, not seen, I have not seen a single cow since I've started this Let's Play. Uh, but we had that problem with our first survival let's play and that's what I was looking for because when I was running back from my spawn I saw that big like area of sand and I was like what is that because it's not like it's not like there's a desert around here is that the beach and it got stretched up the terrain or something because that is a lot of sand so let's go over here let's check this out maybe it's the world's smallest desert biome I'm really not sure but I've never seen sand spawn like that I mean there's sandstone under it is it, what are you doing? Cat? Hey, bad kitty, you can't play with that. He's playing with the blind thing, you know, the... What is this? I'm gonna buy him. Snowy beach? So it's just a beach. Yeah, snowy beach biome. Well, I wish I had known that this was here earlier, because I could have mined out, like, this whole island or something. And I think that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna flatten out this island out here. Um, there's the jungle biome that we spawned in, so maybe there's some cows over there, but this direction's gonna be a lot better, um, as far as finding things, I think. I mean, I say that, but I really don't know. Um, but yeah, don't mind me, I'm gonna mine out this entire island, I'll come back, uh, when I'm done. It's a big island, so it should take a bit, but when I'm done, it should look pretty cool. And plus, you don't, you just, you, you get to see it after, like, one second. I have to mine this for, like, 15 minutes, but I, I can just press this button. Yeah, I can press that button, and then you just get to see what I do in an instant, because I stopped the recording. But what I was going to say, actually not what I was going to say, what I just thought of. You guys know those corn mazes? You know, they have like Halloween, you, you know, just a maze you walk through and you can't find the end. I have a strong desire to build a maze in my world, but if but here's the problem, right? If I make it, I'm just going to, well, I'm just going to know how it works. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get lost in it. Or I could try to make it like really late at night when I'm really tired and I'll just forget about it and then I'll come back on the world and then we'll try to get out of it. I don't know. I don't know why, but I really want to make just like a big cat. I swear to God, you can't. He's playing with, you know, the things that hang down from blinds used to adjust like, like, like the little blades that let in light or let out. What are those called? Shutters. It's the, the, the string you pull up and down. 
And there's two of them, right? One to close, one to open. But he thinks that that's a toy. Because, you know, it, 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 it's, it, to be fair, a lot of his toys are on strings and stuff. So I don't blame him too much. That, that and, you know, a cat's brain is the size of a peanut. So, you know, they're not the smartest things in the world. But he needs to learn not to play with blinds. Because that's, that's a bad habit. You know, because this is an apartment. I don't own anything in here. I mean, I own, like, the stuff that's in here. But I don't own, like, the blinds or the refrigerator. Don't get me started on refrigerators, guys. They're a scam. All right. It really did take, like... I mean, I, I had slept just before I left. So it's taken, like, nine minutes or so to mine this. Not bad. Um, there's a little bit of sandstone. But look. I've got a good bit of sand. I don't think we're going to need much more. Uh, but because it's only halfway through the day, I really want to go... Ooh, fishies. Ooh, and seaweed. I always forget I can swim now, which is kind of fun, you know? Look at me. I'm swimming. Uh, but I wanted to go check... Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. I really didn't. I wanted to go check out over there where I saw the jungle. But you know what? This is okay, too. I I, I don't mind. Did I hear a skeleton? Dude, is there a skeleton? How? How could there be a... S <laughs> I know you guys can't see, but you don't really need... There's not much to see. A buried treasure map? Okay. You know what? I'll. You know what? Let's do it. Thorns too. None of that stuff looks good. I don't want to want any of that. But yes, what I was saying is I can swim now. I got a buried treasure map. I'm curious, where is that? Exactly. Um. I really don't know where that's pointing. I think it's because I'm in the corner of the map, so I've got to run. I've got to run south, southeast, to be able to see it. But yeah, this is where all the bamboo forest and stuff was. So if I need to run southeast, so I need to run this way, and then I'll and then I'll appear on the map and we'll get the treasure and then we'll go back home. Because we got enough sand, I think. Um <clears throat> over nine stacks of sand. So I think we're okay on uh, we're okay in that way at least. Yes, yes, I know you're trapped in here. You, your mom's trying to sleep, dude. You can't get out. But yeah, we're just gonna keep running southeast. Cut. Stop. Sorry, <laughs> I don't get distracted, but this cat, I, w when you shut a cat in a room, I don't know why, but they think it's like they're in prison or it's the worst day of their lives, but it's like, dude, when I got you, you were in a little tiny cage with like six other cats, so you know what? Your life's still pretty good. Um, but yeah, southeast, I assume it's this direction. Okay, now we just need to go more south, which is this direction. Which is near our house anyways. I really don't care where this thing is. As long as it's near our house. Okay, there we go. See, look, we're, we're appearing on the map. So we're going to keep running south. I need to go up here a little bit. It's the only way around this, I see. There probably is another way. But I do not know it. I also really need coal, so I'm going to stop and get this. Trust me when I say I really need a lot of coal. We're already getting kind of low. So it's good that I stopped to get these. Alright, I got all the coal. 37 coal, that's good. Uh, but it looks like it is becoming night pretty rapidly, so either we go home or we try to do it in the night. Uh, it depends on how close it is. So let's see if it's over here on this little aisle of ice. <clears throat> I think it might be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to get it. It's just right here. I say right here. Okay, this is suspicious. No, it's not. Um, okay, so it's like right around here. And if it's not around here, then I'm crazy. Because I swear it's like right around here. At least on the map it is. But we get to fight some monsters on the way back too. So it'd be kind of fun. Now it's only going to be under sand. From what I understand. From what I understand. <laughs> oh, someone please put me out of my misery. <laughs> uh, did you get it? Did you get it? I said under sand instead of under... Anyways, he should be somewhere around here. I, I don't know where. I always have trouble finding him. Where did I hear a zombie from? See, cause look on the map, we're like, okay, let me let me take this away. On the map, we're like, it's like right here is the X, right? But for some reason, it's not right here. Can confirm is not right there. So you know what? I really don't know where it is. And that's that's the thing with these treasure chests. They never really spawn correctly. At least from my experience. Where are you, dude? <laughs> is, there a, is there a cave right here or something? Hey. Jeez. Oh, it's a drowned. 
Sorry, I was looking over at my door because the, the cat was picking under the carpet. I may... Hold on. Okay. Hopefully, he'll stop. She's not... I have... There's two cats in this apartment now. One's named Freya. One's named Loki. Loki's a new guy on a block. He's like eight or nine months old now. Yeah, I don't think he understands that picking the carpet is bad. Which is okay. Okay, where's this treasure chest, dude? We were like right on top of it, like like literally right here. Okay, wh where could it possibly be? And maybe it's just one of those ones that just doesn't spawn, because sometimes they just are, are glitchy and they, they just won't spawn. I'm not super mad because I do need to be getting sand, but at the same time it's kind of like, well, I should be able to find it by now. But you know what, maybe not. Maybe it's hidden under the rock. I didn't think it could be under, I thought it, ha it had to be under just sand. That's why I'm the most confused. Okay, well, there's iron. You know what? I don't need much more iron, but you know what? I'm going to gather you anyways. Only that much, though. Maybe it's on one of these and we just missed it? No, is it is it out around here under under the water? It's got to be somewhere around here close. I don't know where, though. Well, that's just really weird. Okay, well, I'm going to keep looking. I'll come back when I find it because I don't, I don't want to record any more sand breaking. Okay, well, I'm about to give up and go back home. I'm just going to mine out this entire area in front of where I've been mining. And hopefully it pops up. But it, it, it looks like it, on the map, like over here, like I'm not even on the X anymore. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. But surely it's somewhere. Oh, no. Surely it's somewhere around here very close. If it's not, I'll be very surprised. It just It's not over here, so I figure if I mine in this direction, I should mine in this direction too. Assuming the center point is like right around here. So I'm just going to keep mining out all these blocks. Hopefully it just appears. You never know. You never know. I mean, I know it has to be somewhere. I mean, I know they didn't just make this, this chest spot. There it is. There she blows. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Come on, don't die out of the ice. That would not be good. It's going to be interesting running back home with all these mobs, but let's see. What what did we waste all this time for? Heart of the Sea, a ton of iron, which you don't really need. Prismarine crystals, sure. Is this, is this cooked? I'll, t I'll take cooked fish. It, 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 I'd be kind of mad if I got raw fish, like, after all that. Just like, here you go, here, man. Here, here you go, man. Here's some raw fish. I'd be like, what? Why? Okay, well, I'm going to run back home. I think it's just right over here. It's really not that far away, but I want to film just because... It's night, and you never know. Things can sort of go bad or bump in the night, as they say. So, you know, maybe I'll get a uh, 360 no-scope ladder stalled by a, uh, by a skeleton. Yep, there's my house right there. So we're pretty close. No skeletons today. Only bunnies. Which are very cute. But they don't do much. It was sad to see one die. It gave me a rabbit felt. Which I don't know what you can use that for, but I don't want to use that. That's like... It's just kind of it's just sad they're so cute okay let's go over here let's sleep and then actually before we sleep let's start smelting up this sand because we're gonna man we got so much sand we also have a lot more iron now which you know is a good thing and a bad thing i was trying to grab coal we'll put you know what we can try out our blast furnace let's go in here put this here how quick how quick are you I remember using it in the last Let's Play, but I didn't really watch it. That's actually really quick. That's nice. Okay, so we're going to need stacks of eight coal to make this work correctly. So this gets a stack of eight. This gets a stack of eight. Now, I underestimated how much glass I needed last time, so that's why I went kind of overkill here. I don't know if this is overestimated amounts or not. I mean, we have more glass, or sorry, more sand than we do furnaces. So I'm hoping this is enough. If it's not, you know what? It's okay. Uh, but yeah, again, this is just for sugar cane. So I want to have like a like a sort of greenhouse for everything we need. I may do a potato greenhouse too pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, we still have 63 coal and all of that is smelting. So yeah, I think we definitely are, are going to have enough stuff here. I hope. That's the hope. You never know. I mean, sometimes things can go wrong, but I don't know how that could go wrong. I mean, that's just a lot. It's an absolute ton. Let's see, do we have a chest where we're putting sand? We could put it in here. And all the stone materials, like sand stone. Where where's that chest? Right here. Stone stone. Dirt. This is alive stuff. 
Do I have a mob mob drops chest? I feel like somewhere in here I have some sort of mob drops chest. I don't. Uh. Oh yeah, see we still have a bunch of extra glass. Okay. Well that's good to know. I didn't know we had that. We're gonna go get started on it right now then. You know what? Mob drops can go in there. That that's only that's only uh necessary, I guess. Alright, so now we need to decide where we're gonna build this. Someone also said make the river extend out and connect. Uh like the river under the bridge. But the only problem with that is where where would we bring it to? Because it ends kind of naturally right there. If we brought it over here, it would go into our mine. And while I appreciate the suggestion, I don't know where it would go. So whoever suggested that, thank you. You did you did pique my interest, and I wanted to do that, but I don't really know how it would work. So, but yeah, thank you for the ideas. You guys suggest all these building ideas. A lot of them will happen just because I need inspiration. I need ideas. One thing I did forget, however which I'm gonna go grab now is some water and then some sla- oh wow okay oh wow you're like right next to my base get away you icky green looking weird dude come on come over here show you how I deal with creepers boom 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 just like that that was anxiety inducing we were so close to explosion okay but yeah let's go get some slabs any kind will do, but spruce probably because we have a ton of that wood. There we go. Okay. And it's pretty much all I think we're going to... Oh, wow. We have a whole stack of those. Okay. Well, that's a lot more than I thought we had. Jeez. Man, I really need to chill. Where did I put my lanterns? Okay. And it should be everything we need. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot more than this, but let's grab all the glass we have so far. And uh, let's get started. Actually, we should probably grab the actual the actual thing we're growing. Let's grab that. Yeah, good good idea, dude. You're so smart. Okay. There we go. If we need anything else, we got a problem. Because we, sh we shouldn't need anything else, right? Right. Okay, so now to decide where to build it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it be... Hmm. I don't really know. I was going to say like right here, but I don't want to put it like right next to my house. Hmm. Or right next to my other greenhouse. And it was going to be a long one. It's not going to be like a very... I think it's just going to go right here. And now I need to think of a style for this. Um, I think it's only going to be... I didn't grab any water buckets, dude. Hold on. Okay. So I don't know if I want to build it over there or not. Um, but either way, we're going to need to build it somewhere. So I'm trying to pick out a place because I didn't really like what I picked out. Um, I don't want to build it along the river or something. I definitely want to build it over in this portion of the world, but where is the grand question? Um, I think what I'm going to do, and this is going to be kind of weird, but I'm going to put it like over here, I think. Like right over here. This area feels right. It doesn't need to be too wide like at all or too long. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going to do it over here, but let's remove this tree. This tree doesn't need to be here. We got a big tree farm. I've already been green enough to this earth so far, at least. Um, okay, so if the water is in the middle, then we have two sugar canes. So it needs to be water, sugar cane, water, sugar cane. Okay, so it just needs to be this wide. I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy um, like I did for my other one. Not, not that my other one's like super crazy or anything. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to texture it as much. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but it can only be like that long. That's see, that's not right, because we're gonna need much more sugar cane than that. Hmm. Maybe a multi-story sort of deal? I really don't know. I again I don't have any plans for this th thus far. Um, but that's kind of fun, you know, to build on the fly. We are getting close to 30 minutes, which is what I shoot for each episode. I'm not gonna end it just yet. Maybe after we start building the greenhouse a little bit more. But I do want to give it some more time before I end the episode. First of all, because it's the weekend, so you guys probably have a little bit extra time to watch, you know, some extra content. If you don't, that's okay. But if you do, stick around, enjoy it. By the way, if you guys are still here in the video, you already know what I'm going to be saying. But if you're if you're new to the channel, you haven't heard this before, probably about 90, 95 to 97% of people have left the video. Like, like, they started watching it and then they already clicked away or tapped away. 
Um, so you're like the last one, two, three percent of people. So you have to be a really good person, really good fan. Yeah, you have a good attention span. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you a secret code. All you have to do is put that in the comment section down below. And uh, you'll get a heart from me. You'll get a heart, to be fair, if you comment anything on my videos. Um, but this especially is like a special thing I do just because, it. first of all, I want to see how many people have watched how long. So the code today is going to be 2145. So you can just put that down in the comments below. If you're the kind of person who never comments on videos, just do it. Just type 212145. That's all you have to do. 2145. And then I'll, you'll, your first ever comment on YouTube will get a heart. Of course, you, I'm, not, I'm not demanding this or anything. You don't have to do it. But if that's something you'd be interested in, then go ahead and do it. And uh, you get a heart from me. If not, you can go down there leave me a dislike. Honestly, it's okay. Whatever you feel is what you feel. Whatever you feel can never be wrong. Unless you like feel the need to do something illegal and then you know that's wrong. But if you got a feeling, you can't ignore it. Anyways, thank you guys for the for listening to my TED talk. I'd, I'd like to appreciate putting at 4125. I think that was the code. You can type that in the comments if you want. You don't have to though. Anyways, I'm so I what I did there, <laughs> I didn't really talk about what I was doing, but you could probably tell. Um, I put the water down, I put some slabs over it. Um, the sugar cane needs to grow to be three high. So one thing is, is that we can't go over right now. Yeah, we got to go up and then over. And then that leaves three, right? Yeah. And uh, that's what we're going to do is we're just going to do it like that. So I'd like this greenhouse to look good, but I don't know what, like, what on earth can I add to it? And this is not big enough either, which is kind of a... Uh, kind of a problem maybe I don't need as much I think I kind of get impatient with sugarcane and I usually make like a giant and I mean like absolutely giant production of it and I don't ever need that after like the initial you know like bump you know of a uh, um, sugarcane you don't really need much more at all after you've made bookcases and such unless you want to make them for decoration um, but I'm not at that point yet where I'm thinking about what I'm gonna grow for decoration but at some point we'll get to there we will. Um, so I know how to make this look round at the top, but I, I, like, I don't know if that's necessary for what we're going for. I may cut out the corners right there. Because um, right now it's just a box, like a square box. Not what I'm going for exactly. You know what? We're, we're, we're late enough in the video where I'm sure you don't mind if I take a second sip of coffee and think. All right, so my brain told me something. First of all, it told me, Neo, you got way too much glass. You need to chill, my guy. Um, and then second of all, we're going to cut out all these corners. This is so painful for me, too. Don't worry. I'm going to just, we're, we're going to talk each other through it. We're going to pretend this never happened. We did not break this whole, these whole two rows of glass. It's not happening. What I'm actually doing is uh, gaining glass. Um, but yeah. So I think Minecraft is sort of dying on YouTube right now. If I look at like what people are uploading and what views they're getting. And honestly, January is just kind of a weird month. So is February. But once once March hits, it starts getting better. April, May, really good. And then June hits and it's like, bro. <laughs> June is where it's just crazy. Uh, for most like gaming YouTubers. Because uh, people are out of school. So I'm excited for the upcoming summer. I'm just kind of chilling, you know, playing in a snowy world, haha, <laughs> chilling, and uh, just kind of enjoying, uh, enjoying things as they happen. So I'm not trying to do things too quickly on this world. That's that's one reason. I want this world to last a long time, and uh, for me, that means just taking things slow. And I'm sorry if that makes it boring to watch. Some people, you know, are getting kind of fed up with it. It's okay. This let's play isn't for everyone. It's for people who just want pure Minecraft at a slower pace. Not, I'm not trying to, you know, get mending in episode two. That would be nice, but it would ruin the it would ruin the world for me. Honestly, I don't know how these 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 big YouTubers do it. I don't know how they fake their interest that much. Because like I'll be honest with you, sometimes like in series I've had to fake being excited and happy about things, and I've lied and said I'm enjoying it. And like I can't imagine doing that like on episode two and beyond. I don't know how they do it. Maybe you know for some people it's oh dang it. Maybe for some people it's enjoyable to get mending episode two. I don't know. But for me, not the case. Well, anyways, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun. It was definitely a nice episode, and I really do appreciate you guys watching it. Uh, we'll finish the greenhouse starting next episode. Um, it's obviously got a little bit more work to do. It looks kind of sad right now, but I really do, I really do think the series is going pretty far. Um, one thing I will do, no, I don't want to do that in the middle of the build. Actually, I have a ton of snowballs. Where do I get all these snowballs? You know, before we end it. Yep, I can click pretty fast. I really don't want these snowballs. We're just going to throw them on the ground. One thing I did want to do before we end the episode is go get this wheat. Because you guys have probably been watching it the whole episode. And you're like, Neo, you should go mine that. It'd be really satisfying. Oh, I missed one. And you know what I'm going to do right now? The most satisfying thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> It's always the best feeling when you, you've built this big greenhouse, you've built this big farm, and man, our inventory's already full of seeds, dude. So I've been putting the seeds in here, which quite quickly are going to fill up. We need to do a separate barrel for the wheat. Uh, maybe the one right above it is fitting. I'm not sure, but yeah, we're getting a lot of seeds as you can see. <laughs> um, these farms are really good. But, like, I don't, there's there's a limit to how many, to how much weed I'm going to need. I'd like to get some good farms going for each kind of, oh, for each kind of animal. But I'm not sure exactly what all animals I want to get going. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but plans for this series, I want to get, I said this in Minecraft too. And I, by the way, that, that series is over. I'm sorry. It, it just wasn't enjoyable. I, cause I started it, it under the premise of it being like the second Minecraft cause it had so many graphical updates and I removed no cubes and then it just didn't, it, it just didn't stick. So I'm sorry about that. Falling, falling season two makes me want to bang my head against the wall cause I've done so many of those. This, I'm going to speak like human to human here. This is the only series right now I'm enjoying. Like, honestly. So, expect a lot more of this. If that's what you like, good. If it's not what you like, I'm sorry. I got to do this for myself. I really do. I like the thumbnail style for these videos. Nice and simple. There's no fancy titles. It's just episode 9. I mean, it's literally just Let's Play Minecraft episode 9. That's all it is. There's no, like... Giant diamond find, epic, epic castle build, wall, mansion, like, I, no. The thumbnail says what the episode is, pretty much. Kind of. It's like the cover of a book. Anyways, I'm done talking. I've just been rambling too long now. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in episode number 10, which is gonna be, it's gonna be kind of special, you know, it's episode 10. Maybe we'll do an hour for episode 10. I'm really not sure. I'm about to record it right after this, so... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See your code 4125 if you want to comment it down below. If you don't want to comment it down below, then you don't have to. But just know I appreciate you either way. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in episode 10. Bye.